Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my review of episode 5 of the Super Chat from Miss Supernational 2024. Welcome. So this is already my review for episode 5 of the Super Chat of Miss Supernational 2024. The winner of this group is decided by 50% judge's choice and 50% your vote. That's why later I will be reviewing all of these candidates from episode 5 and then I will be revealing my winner, the one that I submitted as my vote for this group. And then of course if you don't like the result of my choice, you can actually change the entire outcome by voting for your favorite candidate. Download the Miss Supernational app again and vote for your favorite. And the winner will be given the chance to compete with the other winners from all other episodes. And the eventual winner for the entire Super Chat will make it in the top 24 of Miss Supernational 2024. Now, the ladies in episode 5 were Australia, Botswana, the Czech Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Spain. So let's review their performances one on one and let's see if you re agree with the commentaries that I have. Starting with Australia. Janaya Ramers, she looked beautiful and I love her responses to all the questions that were asked to her. I think what I would want her wanted her to work on is to really have some more impact with her answers. They were good, but personally it didn't give me that wow moment. I mean, I think it would have been incredible if she has used this run of the competition as an opportunity to give powerful and inspiring messages because I believe that would have strengthened and have given more impact to her answers. Next we have Botswana. Leia Barabetse. Botswana looks stunning and she's a very sweet girl. And I do, I do see that with the way she speaks and with her aura during the entire round of the, of the Super Chat. And I love as well knowing the fact that she's got a twin sister. Now, generally speaking, I am okay with short answers as long as it sounds satisfying and as long as she answered the question and it was supported strongly. For Botswana's case, she answered the question, which is very good, but it actually left me wanting for more er elaboration. I really wish that that's what she'll work on because it felt like her answers needed something more support to make it look and sound complete and strong. Next we have the Czech Republic. Justina Zidnikova. Czech Republic hits differently even on the introduction. I love the excitement in her eyes and in her face as she responds to the question and talks about herself during the introduction. What I love about Czech Republic's performance is that she is a natural speaker and you can really tell that easily. She can speak so much about different topics and she has a unique approach to the question as well. Her answers were very unique and is based on her experiences and that's the reason why her answer is much stronger. If there's an improvement that I would suggest it would be bringing out the ma main point of her answer as early as possible because if there would be a time limit the main point of her response may not be heard and that would be a disadvantage. So overall, she has performed extremely well. Next, Equatorial Guinea. Maria Jose Nzang. I am quite surprised by Equatorial Guinea. She looked great this round and her answers to the questions were quite good. I admire the fact that she chose to speak in her own language because with that, she was able to express herself very well and I do appreciate the proper interpretation too because it allows her to really make sure that her answers were translated perfectly and I think based on how she responded to the question, she did that comfortably and that is the advantage of speaking in your own language and I think overall, she delivered a great performance. Next, Sierra Leone, Mabinti Manserai. I really love Sierra Leone. I love the way she delivered her answers naturally. And even on the last question, I love how she answered that question with love and passion 
for her country. Her answers to the other questions were also quite impressive. I think for the earlier question, she looked a little bit nervous with all the eye movements in all directions, but thankfully, she was able to adapt and adjust right away on the later part and has become more comfortable, which is quite good for her. Finally, we have Spain. Elizabeth Laker. I felt like I just found my favorite Miss Supernational Miss Spain ever. What she gave was an incredibly good performance. And first of all, I love the energy that she's got. She also got a sense of humor, which I truly enjoyed. And she's the only one who made me laugh. I really enjoyed it. And I very enjoyed her presence very much. And her performance gives that vibe of a natural conversation. I felt like she would be a fun candidate to talk to. And even as a person, based on what I've heard and listened to. Her answer it is, isn't too pageanty, which is another advantage and a good thing for me. And what she gave was an effortlessly charming presentation. Her answers were also good, and I was smiling all throughout her performance, which is the reason why I am surprised and impressed by her overall performance. For group 5, I only have two favorites, and my choice is for the win, and these are Spain and Czech Republic. And after minutes of comparison and further assessment, the winner that I submitted as my vote for this episode is Spain. Elizabeth Laker. I, as of what I've said earlier, I really focused more on an emotional level and I really enjoyed her performance very much. Czech Republic was also good, so if I have to score both, the differences are the difference between their scores are just very, very small. So Spain is my winner for episode 5. So what are your thoughts? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.